Kendrick dropped a new album and song that Lil Wayne has to address. He used to bump the car to three. I held my rolly chain proud. Irony, I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down. What up, words? Your boy Charles Brown back again, talking facts. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification. Bail, keep sending those cash apps to CLBMG gang. Listen, I got a notification to my phone that there was one new Kendrick song. I got it through my YouTube app. Randomly just got a random Kendrick dropped a new song. I was like, oh, damn, uh, K Dot dropped a new song. Let me go check it out. So I go click it. I listen to the song. I'm like, okay, this is very West Coast. I think he's going West Coast with this track. Let me just check something. I go and click it, go back to his YouTube account. After I read the comment that he dropped at least 10 records. I look back, there's about more than 10 records on KDOT's YouTube. So I'm like, damn, your boy dropped 12 joints to YouTube? The hell we doing? What's going on? All right, I got to sit back, focus, figure out what the order is, and yada, yada. So I text the group chat. I'm like, Kendrick just dropped a couple joints to his YouTube. My man AG goes, nah, he dropped a whole joint to his Spotify after I sent that, right? So I'm like, hold up. I go to Spotify, there's an album there. So Kenny dropped a brand new surprise album, right? It's a lot to discuss, a lot to unpack. Very first song, Whacked Out Murals, is the very first song at the top of the ticket. So I click that, I'm listening, I'm loving, I'm like, yo, I love this beat. I love the chorus, the Spanish singing. I love what he's talking about. And then this man says, I basically... Basically says, I used to bump the car to three. Used to rock the ice style rolly, right? He said, the irony is I think my work, my hard work got Lil Wayne. I'm not going to say mad at me. I believe he said disappointed in me or whatever, right? You go back and listen to the, to the, to the, to the quote. But he's basically saying that his work, which led him to being picked for the Super Bowl, made Lil Wayne disappointed. He then goes on to say, the only person that congratulated me was Nas. I want to unpack this gang. This is, this is wild to me. It's wild. Kendrick has addressed Lil Wayne. Needless to say, I don't think Lil Wayne is coming out with Kendrick at the Super Bowl. Let me just start there. This song is crazy. It's fire. I did not expect Lil Wayne name to come up on this album in this type of connotation. I believe that this was a, he put a stamp on it. I think Kenny has separated himself from everybody. I think he's like, I don't care what you think. I worked hard to get here. And a lot of these dudes are showing their true colors because let's be honest, I said, go back and look at my old video. Lil Wayne never congratulated Kenny for the Super Bowl. Not only did he not congratulate Kenny, he came out at least three times talking about he got the Super Bowl snatched from him. As if it was his birthright, as if he was owed the Super Bowl, as if we owed him that performance, as if he somehow was the only choice, and they robbed him. Kendrick has spoken. He said the only person that congratulated him was Nas, and that is a fucking fact. Nas is the only person that came out publicly to congratulate Kenny, and he said, I'm glad they're showing their faces. There is a lot of old heads, a lot of new heads. First of all, a lot of these old dudes do not want to congratulate him publicly because they don't want to ruin that relationship with Drake. Just being honest, Willie, uh, 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 I'm sorry, Wallow, Gilly, academics, all these guys do not want, we know what academics is, but it's other guys, Norrie, it's a lot of people, bloggers and rappers and older statesmen 
that refuse to take a stance on this and say, congrats, Kenny, you deserve it. They're so scared of the public perception. They don't know which way it's going to go. So they're scared to even insert themselves. They suck a shit. Congratulate that man. They're scared to offend Wayne. They're scared to get on the bad side of Drake so they won't say nothing. And Kenny was right. right. A lot of people don't really like the West Coast. They're, they're, he's right. A lot of these rappers are scared of the West Coast being dominant again. Let's be honest. The West Coast, when they had it, it was a chokehold. I'm just going to be honest. They don't want that Dre run again. They don't want that Snoop run again. They don't want that West Coast run again because it was really hard for the East Coast to breathe. I'm just being a buck. Until Atlanta came, the West Coast really had it. And some of these guys have not forgotten that. Some of these guys don't want that West Coast run again. Kenny's bringing the West Coast back, which is cool. I like a lot of West Coast music. I like a lot of East Coast music. I like a lot of music in general. But a lot of these guys are showing their true colors by one, not congratulating that man. It's, it's all political. They're scared. Imagine you go and say, congrats, Kate Dotton, and Drake don't record with you again. He's that petty. It's that petty out here. Some Drake affiliate might not want to record with you again. Drake is about to try to make a run. I'm just showing you what's going to happen. He's going to make a run. He's, he's, he's lining up. He's lining up. He's, he's piecing it up with Future. You can see that. He's piecing it up with Young Thug. You can see this. He's got 21 Savage already. He got a little baby already. So he's going to make a Atlanta run. I'm telling you, with that new album, they're already lining it up. Where that new, when he does this new album, it's going to be full of collabs from Atlanta guys that are already popping. He's going to piece it up. Some of these guys are going to, Future's already lining it up talking about, oh, I don't know. He did a, he did an interview in GQ. Oh, I didn't know that well, Ken, Kendrick and, and Drake actually had beef. I didn't know, right? You already hit Met Metro copping the plea. Oh, it was a personal issue and it wasn't over a female, but it was real personal, right? And I was hurt, da, da, da. When you start saying stuff, I was hurt, that's stuff that you mean you can work out with somebody. So he's starting to, he's starting to cop, please, low key. I'm just being honest. He's low key. Pay attention to the Metro wording. Metro booming is copping the plea. Talking about I was disappointed and hurt. Well, you know what? People can be... Friends again after you disappointed them and hurt them. They're lining this up where they can start a little, make a little olive branch and then we can make a song or two. They're lining this up. So they're making it where this run could be started again. So a lot of these guys do not want to congratulate Kendrick openly. But Kendrick is telling you on this new record, I don't care. He's seeing the people for what they are. He's seeing for, he's seeing you for what you've done and what you and, and you're showing your hand. For Nas to be the only OG to openly congratulate Kendrick is wild. It's wild. Now Jay Z never says nothing. Let me, let's get that clear. He's not going to say congrats because they're already on his ass about picking Kendrick in the first place. There's a lot of other OGs that could have said some stuff. A lot of them, right? And I believe Kendrick even said that Snoop, he said he couldn't believe that he bought the tailor-made thing. Now, we all know that was AI. But I don't know. This, this Snoop didn't repost that, right? I don't think Snoop reposted that. So I don't know if he's saying he couldn't understand why Snoop did it or if he thought Snoop was on the record. He was like, yo, what's going on? But at the end of the day, there is a lot of fakeness and phoniness in this business. There is a lot of politics that people, people are running scared. These labels are falling apart. A lot of these bloggers are afraid to lose that chance at that one chance that Drake might come and sit in that chair. They afraid, gang. Drink champs would never. They want that. Imagine that interview if Drake sits in that drink champs chair. Right? They not going to risk that. Wallow and Gilly not risking that. They, they going to forever. Cam and, Cam and Mace, they not risking that. They need that. Imagine we, we get the Drake interview. Forget it. They're not going to they're not going to congratulate Kenny on that Super Bowl. They're going to wait it out and see what happens. Maybe one day Drake might sit in that chair. Drake might come through, whatever. He might make a phone call, like anything. They, they can't risk that. But I really said, I said that when it happened. I said, these guys are not congratulating Kenny for the Snoop Super Bowl. They're scared to offend Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne has to address this. He literally, in my opinion, now I could be wrong. He doesn't sound like 
he's that big on Wayne right now. He literally said, my success may have disappointed Lil Wayne. That's big, gang. He's saying that my hard work may have offended Wayne. I'm going to say something that may be a little controversial and it may not sit well for me in the future. Like when I meet Lil Wayne or whoever, maybe they'll bring this up. Lil Wayne to still have not congratulated Kendrick, that's lame to me. He did the Wheezy Fest and still did not congratulate Kendrick. He said, I got the Super Bowl ripped from me. So he's still on a pity party for his own ambitions instead of wishing that young man. This is why we have such a divide with the old and the young. Because they both still competed for the same shit. Lil Wayne shouldn't be competing with anybody young at this point. Lil Wayne has nothing to prove. Why are you still up here on these pity parties, making these posts about uh, making these statements that you're sad and you're upset and you're disappointed about the soup? It's over, gang. You're not, you're, you should, you're bigger than that. Let's be honest. You've done so much more than one Super Bowl performance that your, your shit is a good 20 years. Am I bugging out? A good 20 years of, of, of constant work. We know that you're not writing your rhymes or you're doing them off the head. It's legacy. It's legendary what you've done in the studio. Why are you still pity partying yourself and looking for this pat on the back about this Super Bowl you didn't get? See, this is the problem with our legends. They still want to compete, right? You heard Diddy when he's on the, when he's on the Breakfast Club. Don't don't uh, OG me. Don't OG me. We still competing for the same bitches. He said that last year. He said he don't like when the young boys call him uncle, unk, call him unk or OG, because I'm still competing with the same bitches with you. Literally said that. Go back and watch the Breakfast Club interview. Did he still want the same bitches that the young boys is going after? He's competing with them. Instead of congratulating them, moving on, he want to he wanna go at the same girl. Eh, 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 like, and that's what it is out here. These, old, these grown men not growing up. Am I bugging? Ain't Lil Wayne older than Kendrick? Lil Wayne was in the game years before Kendrick. Year, at least... I'm just going to go on a limb and say Lil Wayne was out 10 years before Kendrick. I might be bugging, but I'm almost certain Lil Wayne was out 10 years before Kendrick was out. Why would Lil Wayne look at him as a, as, as a peer in a way where he can't just congratulate him? So I'm going to say, needless to say, I don't think Wayne is coming out on that Kendrick performance. I think Kendrick has chalked it up like, F all that. You salty, stay salty. So I don't think Wayne is coming out on that Kendrick performance like all of y'all wanted. I could care less. I don't care if Wayne comes out or not. I really don't care. I want to see Kendrick's 12-minute set, 15-minute set. I hope he does some of my favorite tracks and call it a day. I don't care if Wayne comes out or not. I have no, don't care. But on that note, Wayne has to address this because if Wayne continues to have his pity party about the Super Bowl, he gonna look like a chump. Kendrick went live drunk, begging Lil Wayne to not retire when Lil Wayne announced his retirement years ago. Kendrick went on live drunk talking about, no, nigga, no. Kendrick is Wayne's biggest fan. And for Wayne to have not supported him and for Wayne to not give him no love is lame to me. Salute to Nas. Nas. Nas has always been the realest in the game and he always will be. Salute to Nas. I don't understand why Wayne still feels the way about the Super Bowl. It wasn't yours, my nigga. It just, it just never was. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yo, get, gang, listen. I got the I'm Just Being Honest shirts dropping this weekend. When you buy one, let me know. I'm going to put it on all my social media. Take a picture in the shirt. When you buy it, when you get it, take a picture. It's going on all social media platforms. Let me know. All right? On that note, I'm gonna catch y'all on that flip side. Peace. Look, mission impossible to drop a few lines without yeah. dropping old times when Southern Hill was still a gold mine. With pistol grips was my shit and I sold mine. When Alias was not a show and they told mine. Elevate your mind with high quality THC infused products. BlackYeti.com. Black-Yeti.com. Yo,
Well-being.